Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was Thanks. a good entry. I'm, pr I'm proud. Thank you. <laughs> Just following directions. Right. Uh, hello, everybody, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. For today, I wanted to bring Latasha over, and we are going to be talking about makeup. Oh, I know. We were talking about guy makeup, we were talking about girl makeup, different shades, all that other fun stuff. I'm going to talk about the products that I use for my own makeup, and then Latasha's going to talk about her favorite products as well. I'm going to be putting some on. Maybe I can put it on while you discuss yours too. Yeah. Uh, we'll do some like two-timing here. Two-timing. <laughs> right. I was like, wait. <laughs> I'm like, I hope that doesn't come across yeah. as a weird saying. We're going to be going at the same time maybe. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce yourself for all the people who maybe haven't seen you on a previous video. She was on my Montreal vlog. Uh, we're and then also my how to do well in interviews video. Okay. Um, but describe you and any other. Give us a fun fact. Oh my gosh, fun fact. Yeah. Okay, so my name's Latasha. First of all, I have a YouTube channel and I have a podcast here on YouTube and on podcasting platforms. Right. Obviously. Available everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Freelance Friday Podcast is my show. My YouTube channel is just my name. And I post a lot of videos about mostly like freelancing advice, business, things like that. But occasionally I do something random and fun like this. Mostly right. when my friend Ryan encourages me to. <laughs> um, a fun fact about me. Um, I've been vegetarian for most of my life. There we there go. You go. <laughs> not that exciting, not that fun, but what? I know. It's just thrilling. Yeah, I've been vegetarian since I was like twelve. So. Uh, that's it. That's a long time though. Yeah. I didn't, even, I didn't I even know even it was that long. What meat tastes like? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> um, describe your YouTube channel in uh, three words. Because you said freelance. Yeah. And you, well, give us two more. So freelance, motivational. I like that. That's good. And this and business. Yeah, right. You give business and freelance in a way that's very real, mm -hmm. in a very because like, even like in my own journey with entrepreneurship, it's way different than what I expected. Not in like I would say a bad way. Yeah, it's just it's you know I would say like one thing is like it's more quiet because like if you're not if you're not in a team with like eleven people, yeah, you're not talking with people constantly. If it's more focused on you doing work for others, you're yeah. kind of more doing a, a lot of work on your own. You mean you don't just work on the beach? Okay. Right. <laughs> like, that's what everybody I, told me entrepreneurship. Right, before. and like, that's how you see like YouTube videos. Do you ever see the ads with the guys? It's mostly guys, and they're they always the like, they have the Ferrari, <laughs> and they're just like... The rap music in the background. Right. <laughs> always. <laughs> He's like, I've made a hundred thousand dollars on Shopify. Oh, and they always have the whiteboard thing too. Yes, they always have the whiteboard. I didn't even realize that. Um, they always have a whiteboard. Yeah. And it's always crazy. And they're always like shouting in the camera, like, "Do you want? Do you want to make three million dollars in a year?" Um, mm -hmm. Well, then listen to this about how we turn Shopify. I like, and it's always about drop shipping <laughs> from like across the world. Yes. So like, anyone who buys it, it's gonna be waiting like a month. Yeah. For just a simple product. Yeah. <laughs> because they don't know it's drop shipped or something. But it's just so funny. So, no offense, I guess. I mean, right. if you're into that, that's fine. But right. It's it just not relatable some. to me. Right. It's a motivator for some. Yeah. I'll even admit that. Yeah. But not for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but back to the makeup. So I wanted to talk. <laughs> That could be like, Gee. that's actually a great just little like yeah. intro thing. So today I'm going to be reviewing just an eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. Let me do the little <laughs> hand. <laughs> can you guys see it? Um, even though you can see it without. Um, but it's an Anastasia one. I just got it and I just actually started um, doing my eyebrows sometimes because I watched a video with Joan Smalls, who's mm -hmm. this uh, model, and they were talking about her life, and she goes, oh yeah, I have this eyebrow pencil, and I like paused the video and tried to see like what it was, because I've used eyebrow like tint before, mm -hmm. just like whatever, but I've never felt like it looks sharp, because mm -hmm. I have like really bushy eyebrows, and my hair is so light that I can't see all the hairs, mm -hmm. so like I would do it, and then at the end, it would look mm, like the tail. Yeah, the yeah. tail end would not be pointed. It would be bushy. So yeah. I was always kind of like annoyed a little bit that I couldn't get it to look like sharp because eyebrows really do shape your face. Yeah. Right. I would say like they're very important in that fact 
Uh, that was a very exact <laughs> statement. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. They're like, they're that fat. Uh, so, oh, wait. They are very important, though. No, I got those lights. And your eyes are the window to your soul, so it's important to frame your face. Right. You know? Right. They're the window to your soul. And I found that when I wear it, too, like, people have said, like, my eyes pop more because yeah. I have, like, green eyes, but. And my eyebrows are like on my brow ridge. Yeah. So, and since they're light colored, it's like if the lighting's coming from up top, yeah. you can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's why I like doing it. And then the concealer is actually one that I've had. This one actually looks like a wall behind, so like <laughs> you can actually do it. Um, although putting this in front of my hand, it just kind of like blends in. Um, the concealer is really good for just like under eye circles and for covering up like acne marks or anything like that. Um, and the I was just telling Natasha when I went to go get this because I think a lot of guys the issue is like going into like an Ulta. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll be honest. I mean, granted, I'm like six foot five, and so I'm like already noticeable in any yeah. store. But I feel like when I go into like a store like Ulta, I am not given like a bad vibe it's just no one really think takes me serious i think yeah there. <laughs> and they think maybe i'm like just picking up something for my girlfriend yeah. that she needed that she like instructed me on what to get <laughs> um but i don't i definitely don't get that vibe of like this like let's help like this person help right so i think that's intimidating so what i did was i actually went to just a clinique mall kiosk at my local Bougie. mall i know <laughs> um i just went to there and i said oh i'm gonna be and this was because this was back when i was in college i said i'm gonna be on my student news channel and i need to wear a little bit of makeup because i'm gonna be doing the news i'm gonna be an anchor uh, i made up the story completely and she said oh my gosh yeah like that makes so much sense let me help you and then they helped me get the right skin tone for me um, and they got it spot on I think um, so because this, this stuff works for me even when I get a little bit more tan in the summer but I really like it just for the cover-up part and cuz like just acne in general it's mostly for acne for me it just stinks yeah. and if you're sitting there and you have a giant pimple you don't want anyone to see you because <laughs> it's big it's red and especially for me being paler you see it all. Like you mm -hmm. see the in, you see the inflammation of it under the skin. You see it all. So yeah. I never wanted to go without having like an emergency, you know, little concealer thing. So you had to lie. Like I thought you were really going to be on the news. No, yeah. I was you a complete lie because so, I felt so self conscious. Yeah, about it. that sucks. So right. We have I know. to like shake that right. stereotype that men of like any persuasion right. can't wear makeup. I think that's so silly. That's the thing too, and that's why, um, and I was just telling Latasha before we started this that I wanted to do this kind of video of just like two quick things because I feel like some of the guys' videos are more for like putting on foundation and stuff, and honestly, I would probably do that, but my skin's so, it's beyond sensitive. It is just like mm -hmm. cystic acne for anything that goes wrong. So like I can't, I want to risk putting more on yeah. <laughs> all the time, so. I want to just put on the lightest amount that makes me feel like I'm enhancing certain aspects, mm -hmm. I guess. I'm going to put on this concealer under my eyes, because I haven't done it yet today and I'm going on a date later, so, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I might as well do it now. And then I figured you could talk about one of your favorite products yeah. while I do Let's that. Let's do it. Well, while we're on the topic of concealer, so I actually just discovered this one. This is called the No Filter Concealer by oh. ColourPop. So Ryan talked about a bougie option. I'm gonna <laughs> talk about an affordable drugstore option. So ColourPop is really awesome. I think this is like $5 at Ulta or $4. And I normally use what's called the, oh my gosh, I can't think of what it's called. It's called, it's the Maybelline Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer. And I still use that for my under eyes. It's like a brightening kind oh, of thing. Yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to try out like a spot concealer because like Ryan said, I'm the opposite. So you get like the red marks or whatever. I right. get dark spots right. when I have, and I always get cystic acne too, where mm -hmm. it's like 
hard under your skin and then I always try to pop it, it's gross. And then I always get like the marks. That's just so tempting. <laughs> yeah. It's just, like make it go away. Yeah, and it always happens like the day that I have to film something. Right. Or whatever. Yeah, so you're that. yeah, so I get like huge dark marks that don't go away for like a month. Like they're scars. Right. And this covers it so well. My color is medium dark. If anyone's curious. The one thing I will say is so after buying this, I really didn't touch makeup for a while. Mm -hmm. And being in advertising, I see I like I enjoy watching things like Jeffree Star star videos and stuff just because the whole makeup industry is so interesting right now yeah. because it's so much branding being put into it and the when I got this and then the <laughs> box it came in I don't know what about it yeah. but I loved it yeah that's I loved, a fault right I loved picking it up I loved, the box was just so like mm -hmm. tea like you know it's just like so colorful and it had like a shimmer to it and like even seeing that bottle right here it's like frosted right it has like a frosted glass it's and like the too. top it feels oh so nice God. oh my <laughs> see that feels so good yeah. and like it's just like <laughs> we're gonna see me like strong like, oh my god um, but um, it just feels so good and so I was really that really baffled me of like yeah. that I got a sensation yeah. just from touching it. I mean, it's fun to have just a little treat for yourself. Like I picked right. this up because I was getting my eyebrow pencil that I use all the time, and I was like, "Oh, that looks cute," and it's four fifty or five dollars or whatever. Let right. me just pick it up, and it actually turned into one of my favorite products. So I do this under my foundation because I do wear foundation every day. I use like a CC cream, so it's light. It's like a moisturizer, sunscreen, and a little bit of tint. But I put this on first, and then I put my foundation over it. Your foundation, right? Your makeup always looks crazy on point. Thank I feel. you. <laughs> yes. Everything always looks right in check. Your eyebrows are pointed. You got everything. Thank you. We both have big brows. Naturally. Right, though. which is good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Cara Delevingne, for yeah. bringing that back, <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. back in, because that was not always the case. No, I used to get made fun of so bad for my eyebrows when I was little, right. but I had like a unibrow too. So. That was, and that's, that's, what he, <laughs> she, uh, that's what she said as well. She yeah. was like, oh, my eyebrows were like the bushiest thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> And then, granted, like unibrows are, you know, they can be. Hey, do you? Right, they can be good. Yeah. But it's always nice too that that they can a bushy brow as a kid that you got made fun of. Yeah. Can later be your greatest asset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll get a little closer. But so I put on under my eye, and like it's not honestly, it's really nothing drastic. It's subtle. It's really subtle, and it's just to. Um, I'll just like stay at this like close up mess <laughs> the whole time. But it's really interesting because I remember right when I put it on for the first time I went into like we were shopping at the mall <laughs> and I went looked in the mirror and I was just like oh my <laughs> gosh like I've never seen my skin all look similar color yeah. like around here it's always been darker so I was like oh well, it's almost just right. like a diffuser like it kind of right. like, like diffuses and like blurs yeah, you know that's, a great, that's a great way to put it. Diffuser. As opposed to like putting a mask of right, a cover, or covering yeah. up of some sort. Yeah. And again, like I think that's all part of like putting on makeup that's not so drastic, where it like alters your complete look. Yeah, <laughs> you look like wax. So, like, right, for like your day to day stuff. Yeah, obviously. But see, the thing is too that I've noticed is that my I know people who are really into the art of it, mm -hmm. right? And that's what we always see now. And obviously, a lot of people felt that way with yeah. how big it is now of like your face as a canvas and I'm gonna like just structure it mm -hmm. however I can and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, too. for sure. Um, so going into the brow pencil, so honestly guys out there, straight, gay, bi, trans, everything, literally any kind of guy out there, just get it. <laughs> um, uh, they come in a good variety of colors, I would say. This is the lightest one. This is just blonde. And then they go, there's like 10 or 11 shades that go progressively darker. Uh, but what's really nice is that this has the pencil on one end, and then the other side is like the brow comber, which mm -hmm. is kind of similar to like, is this similar to like a mascara? Mm -hmm. It's like a spoolie. Right, it's like a spoolie. So, what a fun word. Spoolie. Word of the day. <laughs> Spooly. <laughs> uh, so Joan Smalls in that video that I mentioned I watched, she said like, oh yeah, when I wake up I just like, even if I'm not like doing anything, just so like, like I look good, I feel good, I'll just like do my eyebrows a little bit here, um, just to comb them. And then she comes back later to actually do the pencil aspect. But the one thing I will say with this is that you're not trying to actually sketch your brows like you would 
in drawing, I guess. You're just kind of trying to, what's the way that, you're trying to feather it. Yeah. You're just trying to do like little lines here and there that eventually fill them in. But if you think about it, that would look more natural than let's say like coloring it in like a color book, right? Small hair like strokes. Thank you, there we go. <laughs> Small hair like strokes. Yeah. Do you have any other tips for like putting on your brows that maybe even I don't know because I'm yeah. newer so, to it? So, well, I can share some of my things too. Yeah. My process. Oh, uh. Not the frosted glass. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I. I'm gonna wait to put it on. <laughs> yeah, I use a similar. I mean, it's just a oh, yeah. brush. This I've is from before. Benefit Cosmetics. It's the precisely my brow pencil, but I also like one from NYX too. I mean, I feel like brow pencils are kind of the same. Right. That one is a cult favorite though. Really? Like, people love okay, it. Okay, so yeah. That's, that's what I meant. People love it, and they yeah. love the pomade. Oh okay. yeah. Which I'm not a pomade person because I probably similar to you like we already have pretty full brows so it's more about just like shaping them because the pomade is the almost like a more of a gel yeah than a pencil, yeah right? yeah okay so that for me personally I don't love as much but if you have really sparse brows that might be a good option that's a good idea too but you gotta fill it it's more it's more a color yeah say, like putting put it there yeah so yeah I just use the small hair like strokes. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, just like if we talk the about artistry. the makeup, the makeup industry. I mean, mm -hmm. even me just like spinning this right now. Look, it's, it's, like, a wand. it's like glistening in the sunlight. Yeah, it's insane how much effort they put into the building of it. And I don't know if you all watched the Shane Dawson uh, and Jeffrey Star <laughs> documentary ser docu series. Yeah, but like just seeing how much goes into it. I mean, I know it's crazy. and then it comes out just like. One little yeah. thing. I mean, granted, they made a lot of products, but yeah. even for just launching one little brow pencil mm -hmm. or varying shades or what have you. That's what I do. Hair like strokes. And then I use my spoolie again to just kind of like brush That's what I do too. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm glad I found yeah. the right idea. Because I said, like, oh, it looks kind of like too straight. But yeah. If I you gotta like mess it up a little bit. In, right. For me. And then lastly, I use like a setter setting thing. This is actually a really great product too if you just right. want a little bit of something. Like if you don't want to go through the pencil thing, it's right. um, by Glossy. It's called Boy Brow. Okay. And it's a tinted like brow gel. I was going to say, is it more of a gel than yeah. just like keep it all in? So I use this to set my brows to keep them stay in place because right. again, my brows are really big and bushy so they'll do their own thing. But I like wipe like all of this off. Like I barely have any product on when I put it right. on just so it's like a little bit of like a gel when you say setting mm -hmm. so with the pencil you're kind of like sh more so shaping mm -hmm. and the setting that looked pretty tinted i was thinking yeah. it's gonna be a clear yeah would you say the setting is more like the f even filling it in in the center yeah. at least a little bit more yeah it does it, it gives a little bit of color but like i said i use a really small amount of boy brow right. just so it doesn't like overkill right. um but yeah you can use a clear one too i've used clear ones i just prefer that one personally i don't right. know I just like the look of it, but I always, I have dark hair, mm -hmm. so my tip too for dark haired people is to go like a shade lighter than you think you should. Oh. Because, like I always use like a light brown mm -hmm. or like a medium brown eye pencil, even though my hair is obviously black, just because it looks like you don't want to look like you have a sharpie on, right. <laughs> you know? Right. I feel like a little bit lighter is always better than like so harsh, so, so, so harsh pure black. Right. Yeah. While I put this on, do you have any tips for moisturizers? I feel like especially in the Midwest, mm -hmm. <laughs> it is so cold and dry here. Yeah. And then even in the summer, it's kind of hard too because I feel like you're still expected to use a moisturizer because you have the sun, mm -hmm. but then it's so moist. Yeah. <laughs> it's so humid in the summers here too, so it's kind of like hard to mm -hmm. find a good one too but yeah yeah thoughts i don't have it with me so i'll make sure that i send you the exact name of it so you okay. can maybe link it down yeah, below, or something. Link it below but um the one that i've been loving lately is by pixie and it's called i think it's called Phen phenomenal or something like that it's ph though like no, ph see, balance there's that branding it. in play I'm yeah like we're not gonna just call it phenomenal we're yeah. just gonna do ph and right throw that one for a whirl yeah <laughs> but i love it because that's the point of it is like it adapts to your pH balance or whatever, you know, I don't really know science, they're gonna okay? Start, they're going to start making claims like yeah. it, it, <laughs> it attaches to your cells oh my gosh. And, and tells them, yeah. it greets them. I don't know, I'm not a chemist, but it <laughs> does work with your own like body and your own natural oils, so it, I don't know, I really, really love it. I've been using it for several months now and I really like it, um, so that, but also, do you use an eye cream? Yes. 
Yes. And that's the thing too. That's <laughs> basically an eye cream is just a very heavy moisturizer. Right. And yeah, it's not really, it's really just a really heavy yeah, cream. Yeah, right? it's not okay. really, there's not... I would thought there might be some, like some of them have like a special ingredient for like yeah, inflammation. Yeah, like anti-aging, right, retinol anti -aging. or something, I don't know. Right. But for the most part, it's just a really heavy moisturizer. So before I do my makeup, my makeup looks so much different if I do and do not use an eye cream. Like when I put on under eye concealer and stuff. So that's a tip. And I use one called um, Belief Eye Balm. I really like that. But Do you way, belief in it? Yeah, I believe in it. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, I just use a CC cream, and that has moisturizer in it as well, and SPF. SPF is so important, even in the winter time. For your moisturizers and for your creams and such, do you ever look at the um, comedogenic ratings mm -hmm. of them? Mm, no. And it's okay to be honest here. <laughs> I We're don't. all about all those conversations. I allegedly have sensitive skin, but I don't think I do. If you, and that's the thing. I mean, it's like, obviously, God blesses mm -hmm. everyone with different gifts. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. if it's you know that's the thing too, because I think some people almost like want to say they have sensitive skin. Not saying this is yeah. you, but I think they want to say it because of course like maybe their skin gets a little dry, mm -hmm. and I'm sure their skin probably is more sensitive to yeah. that kind of thing. But dry isn't but, sensitive necessarily. Right, and like the thing is too, I find that it's hard for me to find things on the on the interwebs mm -hmm. because a lot of people say they have something and I've found identifiers that say like oh they probably aren't they probably don't have a similar skin tone to me. Yeah. Not that it's bad, yeah. but just like oh it's it's harder to find stuff because if anything has like shea butter mm -hmm. or even like there's this I went to Jessica Alba's company which mm -hmm. I think they're a great company, but the one uh, cream is branded as this like for sensitive skin and for all this other stuff and then I looked and it had this algae in it which mm -hmm. a lot of makeup brands use because it causes your skin to have more of a shimmer mm -hmm. but it also <laughs> clogs your pores oh. so for people who are more acne prone so I said er like you know these brands are making only and that's the case with a lot of other mm -hmm. brands of like they make these sensitive skin stuff yeah. quote unquote but then they put these ingredients that if you research it's comedogenic rating which yeah. Comedogenic is just a fancy word for acne forming. Yeah. It's like like co coconut oil is like a four. Right. <laughs> or shea butter is like a five or a six. Yeah. Whereas like I always have to try to find products that and even the ones that say comedogenic, yeah. this is where this is where even the ones that say comedogenic aren't even mm. they're not even you know, because granted the ingredients in them don't cause acne, mm -hmm. maybe the fact that just that they're adding so much moisture mm -hmm. would break you out. Mm -hmm. But that's not, that's not their problem, yeah. you know? So it's hard to navigate, I would yeah. say. Yeah, you should definitely check out Pixie. I don't know, but I've um, been using their products for a really long time, and mm -hmm. they're like very skincare focused. Okay. So I've they make makeup that. products as well, right. but they also do like skincare, moisturizers, everything. So I feel right. at least better about their products because they are like skincare focused first. I don't get a ton of acne, I just get like hormonal cystic acne, which is very right. annoying. And but, that's the thing with girls you know. too. Like, I mean, granted, I don't, I don't think I get hormonal ones mm -hmm. anymore, but with girls, I mean, and mm -hmm. that's why a lot of them go, it sucks that they have to go on birth yeah. control. Yeah. Just to help their to acne. Fix their skin, just I mean. to fix, and like the fact that it's just a skin thing of like, oh no, I don't, I don't even, you know, I'm not yeah. doing it for X, Y reason. I just purely want that skin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, And it does work. For sure. And that, that's the, <laughs> you know. that's the crazy thing of like you have a solution, but it means you have to start taking these pills every yeah. single day. You're like, this brings me back to like my dermatology day where they're like, here's some antibiotics. Have fun yeah. on this for a year. Oh. Ugh. Sorry they didn't work that well. We'll try another one. Yeah, <laughs> But as you guys Ooh, can see, I know, what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> So like, I'll go closer now too. But see like, it's not drastic again, it's but and they sit on my brow ridge, so it's hard to see them, especially with the top light. But then this kind of helps them form a little bit. So then my forehead looks a little smaller because I have a bigger forehead. And just a bigger head, I guess, in general. <laughs> but um, my mom, my mom um, I used to have a big, really big head. <laughs> Um, and my mom was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy you grew into it. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> which I guess, right, which I guess like my body was prepping for <laughs> by having a big head that I would be six foot five, even though um, Latasha is sitting on an increased yeah, I'm uh, not this tall. chair and I'm sitting on a lower stool. Um, but yeah, and then like Latasha said, comb it first, get it where you will want, get it to where you would want it and then use the pencil and then brush it again with the spoolie. Sp spoolie. So 
so much vocab. I know, spoolie. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what I like too about like the makeup videos yeah. on YouTube is that a lot of them, they talk about, they, they use their words very, mm -hmm. like little morsels that yeah. they're just kind of like spitting out at you. Yeah. <laughs> Can oh, I shout out awesome. a YouTube channel? Yeah. So you might really like this. Mm -hmm. Mixed makeup. Have you Ooh, just seen no. it? So yeah, it's all about skincare. It's oh, so fascinating. Cool. She like reacts to celebrity skincare routines. Oh my gosh, I get so frustrated by those. Yeah. The, even the one person <laughs> said, oh, I don't use a blush. I just put lipstick on my cheeks, rub it. Granted, this person had like perfectly yeah. poreless skin. Yeah. Which is kind of like, I just rub it in kind <laughs> of. And I just like pictured other people doing that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and just like it's smearing everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a um, mixed. Mixed makeup, yeah. Is it with an Y? Or is it mixed makeup like mixed Just normal. normal. Okay. Like mixed, like M I X E. Okay. E -E I found for the makeup industry they might try to like, <laughs> find like, with it and be like mixed. No, just mixed makeup. Her name's Susan Yera. Susan Yera. Yeah, she used to be like a beauty editor or something and oh, so cool. she has a lot of interesting knowledge. Right, she has all the back end knowledge yeah. to be like, these people. Yeah. <laughs> you always see them in their hotel room. But I, you made me think of it because she always, she has this like, she's passionately against coconut oil. Right. Like everyone's always like, I love oh, eating it. Coconut eating oil. it great, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and she's like, no, like that's not good. Right, even, um, shout out, she's one of my favorite drag queens, yeah. Bianca Del Rio, but she made this makeup remover wipe, mm. and all the drag queens loved it because it got their makeup off really well, yeah. but then it turns out it was just like coconut oil yeah. on pads, which yeah. is like <laughs> great if it works, and for a lot of people if it doesn't cause any issues, I give it two thumbs up. Yeah. But then my thought, I was like, oh my gosh, if I rubbed, if I brutally <laughs> rubbed coconut oil all over my face, yeah. I would just be like showing up in my next video with a skin infection. Yeah, <laughs> but like a big misconception is a lot of people think that just because it's natural, like right. a natural ingredient, that it's good for you and it doesn't right. necessarily no, not work the case everyone. all the time. Well, thanks for coming on. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna link all of the things that we talked about down below. Uh, and then, or if we can't like, find no. some of the exact ones, like my old, uh, leave a like. <laughs> leave a like, subscribe. If I can't, this is like, I got this a while ago, so I'll just find something similar to post yeah. too, if it's not the exact one. But um, other than that, like Latasha said, like this video, if you enjoyed listening to us, and let us know if you wanna listen to more things like this, because I love, doing anything with Latasha. Um, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more videos. I'm trying to get them out every single week. Hit the bell icon to be Hit notified when Ryan posts new videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the exactly. hype man. Exactly. And yeah, feel free to reach out on Instagram too if you, that's easier for you wherever you're at during the day. Um, and go out there and try some makeup and take a risk and see if it changes. Cause if it doesn't work out, you can just return it. <laughs>